Hello everyone, my name is Adam or Vox, and welcome back to another OBS expansion tutorial. In this video I'm going to be talking about video capture devices. These are anything that captures video other than using game capture or monitor capture within OBS. This could be a webcam, a capture card, a TV tuner, etc. So to set one up we're actually going to use a global source so if you don't know what global sources are and you would like to know check out my video on them in the description below but we're going to add one for my Elgato Game Capture HD capture card. So to get where I'm at I've already set up a couple scenes in previous tutorial videos I'm just going to go ahead and create a new scene we're going to call this Elgato and then we're going to leave sources blank until we add the Elgato to our global sources. So as per usual, click the global sources button down here, go to add and video capture device. It's not game capture. It is a video capture device. We're going to give it a name. We're going to call it Elgato GCHD since there's a HD 60 out now too that I hope to get my hands on. Click OK. And it's going to pop up a list of options for us to choose from. At the top of my list pretty much every time is the Elgato Game Capture HD. That may vary for you. Now here you have a myriad of options to adjust your video capture device and the same is going to apply to webcams as well. Now over here if for whatever reason you desire or need to you can flip the image both horizontally and vertically to create a mirroring effect. However in most cases that's not going to be necessary and will only make your video look kind of awkward. You can adjust the opacity if you want to make it semi-transparent again for some strange reason. And then you can tell it to deinterlace with a variety of different interlacing options. For normal gameplay, if you're gaming on a modern game console to a modern HD TV or monitor, you're not going to have any interlacing. Your signal should be at 720p or 1080p and not interlaced. However, if you're using a capture card to capture from a camcorder at 1080i for video live streaming, you may have interlaced video and you'll want to choose an option for deinterlacing de here. You can tell it to choose a custom resolution that it's going to render in OBS at. Uh, I can, I'm just going to tell it to do. For video recording, I would recommend leaving it at default and doing 1920 by 1080. However, in most cases, doing video recording from a capture card should be done on your actual capture card software. But for streaming, I would tell it to do 1280 by 720 as streaming at 720p is going to get you the best results. Over here in the audio side, you can tell it what to do as far as audio input device. Of course, you want it to use the device's audio if it's a capture card. So you can get your game sound in there. And then you can audio output it to stream only and set your volume levels. You will, of course, have to do a couple test preview streams to see what the audio levels look like and figure out which setting you should have it at. But in most cases, you should have it pretty low if you're going to be using a microphone. Now if you are using a webcam and you and using an external microphone like I would in most of my streams, you would want to simply just disable the audio device, audio device entirely because you're only going to be using your microphone. With webcams, that's pretty much all you need. You also have the option to chroma key your video footage. This would be how you green screen your video and people green screen themselves on top of their live streams. Set that up, choose your green screen color, and play around with the options to get the best result for you. There's no live preview with it, so it will take some testing and configuring to get it to work, but it actually works pretty well. For a capture card, you of course don't want that. For certain capture cards, you will need to go up here to configure, and hopefully it will pop up an options menu for your capture card. I've discovered with the Elgato Game Capture HD specifically, it doesn't always do it and then you're never given any options and then OBS kind of disables and freaks out because it can no longer detect the Elgato and you've got to set everything back up and re-select your device and it gets kind of frustrating. I don't entirely know why it's caused but ideally when you click configure it's going to pop a menu up for you. But with most other capture cards or video capture devices you should not have this problem. For example if we go over here to my C930E webcam go to properties and hit configure we're immediately given options and it works really really well and that's it then to get your capture card on there we just right click add global source and that pick whichever video capture device you want in this case it's the Elgato game capture HD and then we preview our stream here and it will at least show us the one moment please screen and we can resize it to fit our stream appropriately and there we go now this does look a bit more like a 480p image than a 720p image but again, you got to get that menu to come up for it to work with Elgato. 
Maybe it'll come up now. Yep, there we go. Here, you, you, it is actually set to HD 720, allows 60 FPS if you have a 60 FPS capture card. I do not. And to stretch standard definition input, and we're good to go. You have your stream image here. I do hope you enjoyed this video on video capture devices in OBS. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. However, again, I highly recommend you check out the support forum. And otherwise, I look forward to other tutorials. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to contribute to our Patreon campaign. To watch another video, click on one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. See you next time.